Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Anorm Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the crop tool. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut and we're here in our project, tutorial project. We've covered several tutorials now, but let's go ahead. It's uh, right before actually I start, I want to mention that if you made a mistake and when you were editing, go ahead and use Command Z on your keyboard. It's a shortcut key to simply undo your most, your previous or your last change, basically. And uh, if you, it's also important for you guys to watch my important shortcuts tutorial. It teaches you some of the cool, um, easy command tools you can use on your keyboard just to do simple tasks that take a long time when you're actually just trying to do it by mouse. I'll have a link for that tutorial in the description. But for now, let's go ahead straight to the cropping. And we have a clip here that we actually used the transform um, options, which was my previous tutorial. And we're going to reset this by going to this little back arrow and then just says hit reset and it just puts everything back to normal, which is really, really nifty tool. And this reset button's at every single one of these options. Now, now that we have this clip here, we're going to go you open up the inspector pane, which I've actually just closed. I'm going to go ahead and open it back up and just below the transform tool, um, we're actually going to hide the transform tool and go straight to the crop. And uh, right now we're on trim, which will be in the next tutorial, but we're going to go to the crop. And from here, you can either adjust the crops by going uh, by adjusting these little options, as you can see right here. Um, you can go left, right, right, um, top, um, and then you also got bottom here as well. You can adjust how you want to zoom in and crop where you would like to crop but since i don't want any of those like that i'm gonna go ahead and hit that reset to put it back to normal again and we want to crop by simply selecting this option here at the top right hand corner where it's it's basically the ruler crop tool i'm going to click on that and it will give you this little box over a our uh, actual clip that we have down here now if you don't see anything you don't see the same box make sure your main timeline a uh, little uh viewer or timeline um I forgot what I call it, bar. Yeah, timeline bar here is actually on your clip. That way you can see your um, what you're working on. Now we're gonna go to, over to the crop tool. And right here, now we have these little, um, basically, I would say these little corners highlighted. And we can either crop by simply moving that entire box around and only cropping by a certain portion. For example, let's say we just wanna crop like this, crop that whole top and then just go down there. And then all you would have to hit is done. And then you, now you see we're missing some footage, which is going to be black at the bottom. And then we cropped off the top completely. Now we're going to reset just to un undo. Actually, we're going to hit Command Z to undo that crop. And then we're going to go back to our crop. And uh, what we want to do now, we're actually going to adjust this crop. We're going to move it up a little bit. Then we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And if you notice, these actually these actual um. Uh, coordinates or pixels are actually changing px or yeah they're the adjustments are actually changing as I move these around as you can tell right here and you can adjust these manually as well for better precision and accuracy of what you're trying to crop and for example let's go in really small we want to just crop straight to that Final Cut Pro um, logo there we go and hit done and there we have it we just cropped straight to that and that's the basics of crop, you guys. Be sure to leave any questions or in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life be the proof, the proof of